WrestleMania 41 is coming to Vegas. Tickets are on sale. Of course, I'm joined by Dominic Mysterio, a.k.a. El Wapo, a.k.a. El Jefe, a.k.a. Dom Dom. Mm. And then simply, oh, no, no. Like that. we're not, not doing Dom Dom? No. You know what? We'll cut that out. But we're also joined by, simply put, the champ Liv Morgan. How are you guys doing? The best champ ever. The greatest women's world champion of all time. And look, Dom, I told you I had a gift before um, we hit record. And look, if there's anyone who understands passion and love for chicken nuggets, mm. it's me, as you can tell by the, by, the, by the belly. So I need to hook you up. Ooh. Here you go, first and foremost. Here's the thing. What a guy. It's only five bucks, though. And the reason why it's five bucks is I can see that watch. So I know you have the money, dog. <laughs> so it would be crazy if I were to spend a lot of money on that. Um, so thought that counts. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate you. I got you. And get the butter on both sides on the bread. I don't know if you know what that means. No. Next time you go, say get a bob. A bob? Yeah, a bob. they put butter on butter the, on you know, because the bread? Butter on <laughs> it's some It's some fat guy stuff that I'm putting you on. You're welcome. Um, okay. Hell yeah. I'm going to ask for the bob. Um, Liv, I want to ask you, uh, Vegas is very important in your career. Yes. Um, obviously, you know, you kind of won a briefcase. You kind of won the title. You mm -hmm. kind of beat Ronda Rousey here in this city. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? That night oh, afterwards yeah. i remember everything about it <laughs> so it wasn't like completely lit or how did it feel um i think for me th that was just like the pinnacle of like i just made all my dreams come true i had always hoped to be in WWE. i'd always hoped to be champion um but i don't think i ever really thought that i'd win money in the bank and then cash in on ronda rousey to become smackdown women's champion for the first time ever and have my first title in las vegas at money in the bank um it was just so overwhelmingly um, amazing that it just didn't feel real. It just didn't feel real. No, it was a hell of a moment being in the crowd. And Dom, I want to ask you, you know, the NBA season just started and LeBron made history with the son. You know, LeBron and Bronny playing in the NBA first father-son duo. Does it like kind of disappoint you that like your dad doesn't get it? That like that magic you guys could have had, but he just you didn't understand? Yeah, I mean... It does and it doesn't because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm so much better than him. Um, and I, yeah, you know, and like I understand and I truly know my worth and my value. Right. So I know that he didn't really bring as much to the table anymore. He's old. He's washed. Kick him to the curb. We got to move on. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to take the Mysterio name to the next level. What would make you feel better, winning your first world championship or taking off the mask in a match? Oh, Ray's mask, for the record. Here, here we go. I help my dad, my deadbeat dad, win the title, and then I beat the out of him, and then I take the mask and the title. Love, Liv. love that. That's good, right? <laughs> Liv, I want to ask you, Vegas. We're the uh, now we're the sports capital of the world. We're the entertainment capital of the world, which means any artist, anybody could be here. There's rumors of the weekend being at WrestleMania, maybe Travis Scott. For you, if you could pick an artist to perform before you come out, who would it be? Hmm. I've never thought about that ever. I feel like Sabrina Carpenter. Like it's. Do know, I give Sabrina Carpenter? Do I do I give that? It's up to you, love. You're the champ. You get to which do whatever one? you want. So. I didn't know that. Yeah, dude. Dominic loves espresso, y'all. Are you you are you, are you a carp? I don't know what her fans are um, called. I don't know. I like <laughs> carp. That I'm I'm low key a fan of that kind of music. Like Carpenter, Dulipa, you know. What's the other one? He's very well versed. Yeah. His music uh, taste is like eclectic, different languages. Let the you know you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, 100 percent for sure. We'll both just hold the microphone. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you guys deserve it. Last question, uh, Dom. You were here at the you were at the Sphere, the Sphere, the Sphere, the Sphere. I should know. I live here in Vegas. It's the Sphere. Uh, the Sphere. Yes, the Sphere. The Sphere and a Bob. Um, for the UFC night. Um, I can't believe your dad would show up. That was kind of disrespectful. Yeah. Um, shout out to you for being mature and just going to the other side and avoiding conflict he's such a pro but it was amazing to be in that building wrestling though putting on a show obviously it's strange because you got the led behind you and the crowd's all in front of you it looks like a coliseum do you want a raw or a smackdown in the sphere, sphere? in the I, I would love a raw or smackdown in the sphere um i just think it would be hard, you know right. I, I don't think it'd be hard I mean, it would be hard because of the visuals that we would have to, like, provide for it to get into, like, a match or whatever. But, like, it, I think it would just be something insane. I think that WWE could really come up with something cool for the fans. 
Triple H, work on it. Last thing, anything you want to say to Rhea Ripley fans, Liv? Anything? <laughs> like, wow, you're kidding me. You're, okay, okay. Um, personally, I think that Rhea Ripley is the biggest, most pathetic loser that we have on the roster. And I think all you people that love Rhea and that want to come for me and that want to come for Dominic, I think that you guys are also losers and you're probably ugly and you probably have no lives and you're just so jealous of me and Daddy Dom because we're the hottest, most iconic, most dominant, most best historic couple in WWE history and you're just mad because Rhea could not live up to that. So I'm so, so, so sorry that Dominic and I are so much better than Rhea was with him and that I'm also the better champion than Rhea because I'm the greatest women's world champion of all time. So yeah, yeah, I am a man-stealing, home-wrecking, heartbreaking, title-taking, greatest women's world champion of all time. And all of you losers, you can cry about it because I know you hate it and I don't give a... And you can also get your tickets for WrestleMania 41 at Ticketmaster.com. Thank you for letting me be so up close to love and really seeing what it looks like. I hope we taught you something. Did we teach you a little bit of something about just genuine... How to pronounce the sphere. Sphere. Yeah. Sphere. 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 I learned about the Bob. We learned about Bob. We learned about Rhea's Losers fans. Um, we knew about her loser fans. We knew about that, but we had to educate the rest of the world. Maybe they didn't know. Yeah. Um, it was. This was good. Daddy Dom got his gifty. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks again for that. This was the best three minutes they've ever had. See you. <laughs> I think it was just, it was really just like a pipe dream, really. Um, I started watching WWE when I was five years old. Um, I grew up with four older brothers and they introduced it to me and I idolized my brothers. I, you know, anything they liked, I liked. So as soon as I saw WWE, I liked it. Um, And I think for me personally, I had a very chaotic household, um, very dysfunctional. And so WWE was kind of just like my escape. And so whenever it was on, I just, um, you know, got lost in it. I love the athleticism, the storytelling, the theatrics, and kind of just hoped that one day maybe this is something that I'd be able to do. Never really thought that I would, but you know, here we are. And so just super happy, super grateful. Greatest women's world champion of all time. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of like a space that we haven't really fully tapped into. Like we spend so much time on our wrestling gear Um, that fashion is such a staple of the aesthetic of the characters and what we do. And so I feel like it's kind of like an untapped market a little bit. Like, why have we not collaborated with more designers with wrestling gear? And so it's definitely an interesting thought and something I've been thinking about, but nothing that I've really been actively working on. And Dom, you talk about fashion, you talk about drip. I feel like people don't talk about it enough. And as a matter of fact, um, I asked our listeners yesterday, like, hey, Dom and Liv are coming to the studio. What do you want to know? And the one thing they wanted to know is mustache tips. Like, how do you keep it thick? Can you just let us know some tips? <laughs> um, I mean, the, the best thing I can tell you is being a Latino, because being, <laughs> being Mexican, I don't grow like I can't grow a full beard because it's patchy and it's not I don't know something about me and my family we just can't grow full beards but the mustache being Strong. Mexican this mustache comes in thick and dark when I people didn't believe it they thought it was <laughs> I was coloring it they thought it was fake but this is all all natty baby yeah I think WWE does a really good job of you know, really doing a spectacle when it comes to these, you know, really big, larger than life shows, you know, like the WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumbles. Um, I think we do, like I said, we do a really good job of just making it seem that it is larger than life because it, it really is. He, he was, he was in a relationship with Ray Ripley, you know, my biggest number one enemy. And, um, she had injured me. She tore my shoulder. Um, and so while I was out, I pretty much plotted my revenge tour, which the sole purpose was to come back and take away everything that Rhea loved. So at first, I kind of was just um, wanting to make Rhea upset. I wanted to steal Dominic to make Rhea upset. But then, and he was playing very hard to get. He was resistant. He was he was not an easy catch. Um, but then as I started spending more time with him, I was like, man, you know, that mustache, that bullet. I kind of just really started um, enjoying him. So then it all just kind of, 
what what started out as I just want to make ribs that turned into like something real for me. And here we are, the most iconic, dominant, hottest couple in WWE history. When you guys finally got to let the world know at SummerSlam that, you know, the feelings were mutual and let the world know, like, how did that feel when the crowd, you know, kind of realized what was going on? <sighs> how did it feel? Um, I just knew that we were in for it. <laughs> I just knew that, oh man, we are in for it now. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know he was going to do that. He kind of surprised me with it. I didn't know that he was going to choose me. And so, yeah, he surprised us all. And I just knew in that moment, everything from here on out is different. And I'm ready for it. I mean, I do get booed on the streets. Um, and they even little kids like... Uh, Parents will pull me aside and shake my hand, and then when I go to shake the little kid's hand, they don't want to shake my hand. Um, and they'll say, I'm a real Ripley fan. <laughs> Losers. But obviously, their brains aren't fully developed yet. They still have some time to grow and learn. So um, I just I just super kick the kid and walk away. So it's okay. <laughs> 